Hey fam, and thank you for staying up. Yes, it's in the wee hours of the morning of Monday, and it happens to be Memorial Day. Now, I don't know why these folks that I live by, they celebrating a little early. They were shooting their guns, and well, hell, it sound like guns. <laughs> it didn't sound like no firecrackers or no, oh, what do you call it? Um, skyworks or whatever going up in the sky and, and bursting all these beautiful colors no it wasn't none of that we I, I just heard gunfire so i don't know if somebody was robbing somebody or they would just celebrate you know uh happy memorial day <laughs> but i'm like they could have kept that shit for uh later on today okay because the sister need to get her rest we ain't got time for all this stuff and i i usually you know don't mind it being done but i usually look for it it to be done on 4th of July, you know, something like that, Independence Day or whatnot, but it doesn't hear what it is, they don't settle down, so I thought I'd do my video, okay, because the sister got to stay safe, even in the house, all right, not even out there with those nuts, but anyway, we're going get, to get on and to talk about this shit fest, because that's all it was, a shitty fest, it wasn't even worth my four L's. And y'all know my four L's. Fake, foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity, demeanor from all these women on this screen. Yes, honey, they just showed they pretty natural ass. But would we expect any different? No, we wouldn't. But I'm going to tell y'all, this was a bunch of shit. It was bullshit. Okay, they should have just canceled um, the reunion part three because it, it gave me nothing. It didn't start. It didn't finish. It just was nothing. It's like, what? Is this what y'all talking about? Man, they went back into past clips of Kenya calling Portia Ho and uh, going back to Kim Fields pulling a chair. You know, out from under her, you know, all Kenya more antics that she was doing. And then she wanted to explain herself away or, you know, they came for her first. She came and, you know, all that shit. We don't want to hear that no more. We know Kenya is Kenya, okay? And she going to do everything because you can't sue nobody on the show. I've been told y'all that in one of my videos. You can't do no, sh sh you can't have no litigation outside. You can't go to the courthouse and talk about we finna put somebody up and this, that, and the third. Uh-uh, everything had to be handled, you know, undercover in a sense. Behind court doors, all right? But, oh, child, where do we go? We ain't got nowhere to start. So, I guess we're just, I don't know, jump right into my faves or the ones that threw my eyebrows up in a twizzy okay and it's like made me think about like oh okay but honey i'm just gonna bust y'all bubbles it was no snake gate it was some foolery fuckery fake fraudulent shit activity going on with you bonna and if she thought she wouldn't get on this show honey it closed the door on her tonight on tonight's episode part um wait a minute what was it part three reunion uh, season 12, yes, honey, they closed the gate. The door is closed permanently for Miss Giovanna. She almost like Claudia Jordan. Don't have a leg or a prayer to stand on, okay? No, nah, she ain't coming back to Real High Wives of Atlanta. All that mess and can toe into her, too. Tell my hell, you and Nene need the snake. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. I can agree with Candy tonight. I can agree with her. Candy, like, I'm just so frustrated. You and her, them too. They, ooh, they deserve my fake fool or fuck with fraudulent shitty activity call. I can see why Nene left, because it was all fucked up. I, I was perplexed, just like Kim Field, looking like, what? What, what the shit going on? I, I wish I had my blow horn, because when Nene called herself calling back, didn't call Andy per se, going to call Portia, like Portia, her lap dog now, thinking Andy want to talk to her. I'm like, Nene, I don't know, honey, if you don't seal your fate tonight, too, with him just even not wanting you to be on the show no more. I'm like, I'm like, Andy, girl, come back to your platform. Get back on that laptop, okay? And speak your mind. But, ooh, Yorana did say you had dropped some letters for her to cease and desist and not say nothing about you or put you in a bad light, this, that, and the third. I'm like, girl, if that was true, okay, you did it. You stand in your shit and move on. But Andrew like, uh-uh, I don't want to talk to Nene. Nene has a platform. She has a laptop. Tell her to go back to her laptop. I'm like, that right, Andy. Don't fall in for her tricks. Hell. Be a boss. If you're an OG trying to say you the queen, you this, that, and the third, you don't be doing no side shit like that, Nene. That was, ah, that was amateur. That was 
little girl stuff that you played, thinking you run stuff. And I'm like, you don't run nothing over here, honey. I provided you with a laptop. Go on over there, okay? Go into your laptop and defend yourself. Ooh, child, but those were my highlights. So let's just go on and get into it. Hopefully, it'll just take me 10 minutes because... I don't want to leave y'all up thinking I got something to say. I ain't got nothing. I have totally nothing. But like, no, we don't need Nene to come back. We just need her to be a friend of the show because you be playing shit like this. And then you can't stand on your own shit. You got to just leave. I don't care what Yvonne would have said. I would have been rebuking it. I would like, nope, I didn't say that. You got? Do you have um, evidence, honey? Do you have evidence? Not hearsay now. Do you have me on camera? Do you have me on audio saying stuff? But, psh, child, please. But anyway, going back, um, we get into the show. We got Kenya shading towards Cynthia and Eva and her energy. Also telling Cynthia about being uh, proposed to, you know, pretty much they were showing Kenya in a bad light this whole episode of how she was just acting throughout the whole season. Of course, Kenya wasn't uh, paying attention to nobody and what they were saying about her. She was just explaining herself away and nobody caught it. Nobody caught or understood her explanation. We just said, okay, that's Kenya. She's sidetracking. She, she, she evading, avoiding the issue. She's trying to turn it into something else. So we didn't really get anything for Kenya but a bunch of lies and untruths and stories that had nothing to do with what we were asking her. Okay. Or the platform was asking her. Um, and they're showing her some bad, bad clips of how she was just making Cynthia look like a pure natural food. You know, they had the little wine thing where, um, she was testing, uh, they were showing clips of her testing, uh, Cynthia's knowledge of wine. And they showed one where she was at Cynthia Bailey's wine cellar and she was saying, I noticed you got a $5 bottle of liquor. It don't need to be on that high end price. It need to be way down there for- <laughs> At the bottom, like bottom basement prices for the real drunks that come in here. You know, I like girl. Ooh. And then it showed one with um her being in some kind of I don't know, shop where they sell candles and voodoo witchcraft shit. And um she was saying uh I need to get you some because you got a lot of evil people running around you too and just a whole bunch of negativity they were showing on Kenya and Kenya won, you know, she didn't like it. She knew she had acted her ass, but it is what it is. Um then we got sent the response to Andy about Kenya's shade towards her, of course. Kenya gets out of it like she always do and uh Cynthia throws her a limelight. <laughs> like, I know Kenya. Kenya don't mean no harm, but it just is what it is. Well, she ain't mean no harm, Cynthia. Why are you sitting up there asking her? You know, did she really mean it this way or was it really this other way? I'm like, girl, just say what you got to say and, and, and say it before somebody have to tell you that was just out of pocket what Kenya said to you. Acknowledge the shit when it hits you and you acknowledge what Kenya did and not really worried about somebody else come telling you that Kenya shaded you if you missed that shade, Cynthia. Okay. <laughs> Then we go on to um, Kentia throws Cynthia under the bus about the cookie lady and all this stuff and how they prior how they prior prior met to the situation where she asked the cookie lady to come to Brooklyn's uh, coming out party or whatnot and putting everything on the table for Miss Cynthia to partake of and what was it Cynthia? Hold me, hold up. No, I'm sorry, Tanya to partake of and this, that, and the third and. Of course, King was trying to slide out of that. Then she just went on and said, We know Cynthia should have told me what she was doing behind my back. That's why I use Cynthia's collateral damage. And I'm like, Girl, Cynthia, if you don't know, if you don't see for yourself what kind of uh, friendship you have in Kenya, then so be it. Everybody else need to close their eyes to it too because she ain't going to catch on. She ain't going to catch Kenya's uh, heavy shade be, be, uh, that she throws at Cynthia. Then so be it. But get it. Don't nobody need to take up for Cynthia no more. Um, then Cynthia gets mad, <coughs> um, at Candy because Candy was saying something that Cynthia didn't like. And I'm like, oh, Lord, Candy, why you got to jump in the shit? It ain't nothing to do with you once again. But she went on and tried to tell Cynthia that some of the things she was saying didn't add up and this, that, and third. And, you know, Cynthia got mad to my mom. She didn't want to talk about it no more. I said, no, you don't want to talk about it, Cynthia, because you done dug yourself in a big trench hole and you can't get out of it. That's pretty much what it is, baby. But anyway, uh, 
I mean, Cynthia says she uh, does value um, Kenya's friendship and this, that, and that, this, that, and the third. And, you know, Annie don't believe. <laughs> and just be like, what? Are you serious? You really believe Kenya's your friend? Okay, but anyway, we move on from that situation. Uh, we got Marlo asked Cynthia, would you be friends with Nene if Kenya wasn't in the picture? And, of course, uh, she says... Um, uh, she still would be friends with both of them, really. She just had her time where her and Nene had pretty much fell out. And she was talking shit about her, just like most people would, you know. Uh, I don't know how far they would go into damaging their friendship uh, with talking about them behind their back, thinking that it may get back to them. You know, I don't know what Cynthia was thinking or, or what she was not thinking. I, I don't know. She got Mike in her life, so she really don't care about neither one of them. <laughs> To tell you the truth, if Mike said stop hanging around Ken and stop hanging around Nene, honey, Cynthia would oblige that situation and she would just cut them loose. But that's the only reason I feel it's only because Cynthia has Mike in her life or she thinks she has Mike in her life. So she don't really have to go with these ladies if she don't want to. Okay, then we got Eva said Yvonne said she was going live on the reunion uh in a few minutes and evidently somebody must uh and she just insinuated she don't know if it was true but she just putting her opinions out there for the uh group to know as well as and she said well you know i follow uh yovana with this that and third and uh she just put out there on social media that she's gonna be going live with us so she said maybe that's why nene left what you think <laughs> and i'm like girl if this shit ain't calculated to the t of course, Nene left because of that. All right. Why? I don't know. You know, if you put your foot in your mouth, you tell people to do stuff and they're stupid enough to do it, then, yeah, you, you, you're just as wrong as they are, Nene. Okay. But I couldn't believe uh, your bottom was that stupid to do that. Okay. But hey, monkey see, monkey do. I guess that's what it is, you know. But anyway, uh, leaving that situation, uh, we got Andy plays clips on Nene and Kenya arguing. Um, uh, especially the point where she was calling, uh, baby Brooklyn a buffalo, but we know, but baby Brooklyn got hit indirectly. You know what I'm saying? She she was just collateral damage because Nene was really calling Kenya a buffalo. Okay, but it just is what it is. They just kept playing negative clips of Nene and Kenya arguing back and forth and all this kind of stuff. And the last episode, they actually taped. For the season 12 when they were at Candy's uh, baby shower and stuff. How they were going at it and just that third and Porsche were like, you know, you provoking folks. You know, you, you do that a lot, can you? Then? <laughs> some, uh, some of the other people were like, yeah, 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 you do it. Tanya jumped in, Marlo jumped in. And Kenny was like, no, nah, I don't. I, I only get back with people when they get back with me. But Anna was like, no, nah, can you, you, you know. I, I I don't know. I, I'm seeing it the other way. Like you provoke a lot of people all the time. Just about everybody on the show, and and, it's, and then it's, uh, especially Nene. And then she said, "Well, Nene don't like me anyway." Da 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 da. What you know? Just going back and forth. And Anna said, "No, quite contrarily." Um, really, Nene advocated for you to be on the show. She thought you were good for the show. And then of course, you know, Kenya didn't have anything to say about that or to review. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Rebuttal it or whatnot. Even though she tried. Um, <laughs> whoo, Lord. And, you know, of course, Kenya's like, no, Nene's not genuine. She don't trust Nene. Did that in third, whatever. And Andy goes on to ask the other ladies, uh, do they know since Kenya don't know and Nene not really saying anything? Do anybody know what the rip is between uh, Kenya and Nene? And, of course, Kenya's like, hell, I don't know. They've been fussing for so long. We, I, I just don't know what's wrong with them. And I'm like, hell, it ain't nothing wrong with them. Both of them want to be in charge. Both of them want to be seen. Both of them want the more airtime. That's what it is, girl. Um, Andy asks the horse he's asking the hard questions child <laughs> he, he's still there he was the mvp uh player tonight yes he was i can say i gave him the mvp playership all night for uh season three no other other house ladies really did anything uh tonight i'm glad it's so over i'm ready for married to medicine for uh dr heavenly to cut up with contessa and all this other mess and dr jackie to get mud back on her face again but that's neither here nor there we're talking about the housewives okay then we got kenya says nene doesn't genuinely care for her 
and 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 just accept and move on. He said, "Well, hell, you know, we finished. I'm finished. Shit, I'm in my boxer shorts. I'm ready to go anyway. Okay, I'm tired of hearing about this mess myself." So he moves on, and it throws up uh, the spent incident. Candy talking about if she would have done it to any of the other ladies, it would have been some trouble up in that in that camp. You know, our heads would have been rolling. Um, People's heads would have been bobbed. You know, just talking full, just bullshit. Cocaine, we already saw you in action in the past, okay, baby? You ain't about nothing. You ain't about nothing. Anybody allegedly wanted to spit on you, what you gonna do? Hit them? They ain't spit on you, so you gonna get an assault charge, baby girl. Sit your head down. You, you, you're too lit. Because you wouldn't be this lit if everybody was sitting on that couch. Trust and believe. I done seen you before. Woo! But anyway, moving on from that, uh just sickening case of candy trying to like she finna throw some blow yeah okay froggy behind the keyboard keyboard gangster candy that woman start calling you baby girl but anyway moving on we got andy tells kenya um you really do provoke people because you know did you, and then they start bringing up clips of kim fields and how she pulled the chair out from under her she said well and i apologize for that i know i was wrong i apologize to her then he brought up the blow horn incident calling Porsche a hoe a dumb hoe at that and you know <laughs> he was just making a fool out of kenya and Porsche was sitting there like yeah uh what happened <laughs> and i was like uh-uh we ain't gonna do this. Portia is reading Kenya for Phil Piney. She bringing a wall to those antics and all those allegedly's and this, that, and the third. How did Benjamin came in now, Minnie and Nicole and son? Because the ladies was just going at it. He couldn't get no words in nowhere. I guess he didn't feel like muting them tonight, but it is what it is. Uh, pretty Benjamin came in now. And just stole everybody's heart. They start ooing and kicking and eyeing and all this stuff. So they actually went to commercial after that. Then they bring up Snake Gate. He plays past clips. Then Andy brings out Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne is saying this, that, and the third. She was pretty for the reunion. That's all I pretty much can say about her, too. Pretty little liar is what it is. And asked Yvonne, why would Nene not want to be here? And then, of course, she said, well, honey, um... Nene didn't want me to come and tell my truth, which she knows is going to implicate her in a negative way, this, that, and the third. Nene sent her a cease and cease letter saying, don't be saying nothing. Uh, don't say, you know, bring out no audio uh, of her talking about the lady. That's a whole bunch of mess. Yvonne says she's never uh, recorded Nene leaks. She uh, never recorded any of the ladies, but she has Michael Sterling. That's Eva Marcel's husband representing her. What, so what's going on? What, what's up? <laughs> she scared Nene going to sue her. So she got to counter sue her with uh, the help of Michael Sterling. And of course, Eva was giving out her husband's resume. Talking about he worked for the Cochran firm and this, that, and third. I said, honey, Eva, get us when he has his own um, attorney at Law Branch. When it's just got his name on a marquee. Okay, baby. But he working just like every other lawyer out there trying to make ends meet, baby. But moving on from there. Uh, and, uh, Yvonne tells us that Nene wanted to use her as a spy of sorts, if you m might say that, to, to talk, see what the ladies are saying behind her back. And I'm like, Nene, you know for a fact the ladies are talking about you behind your back. You don't need audio. <laughs> you don't need proof, because once you reunion your end, you're going to see how they were talking about you. They ain't, the fr they ain't your friends. You ain't their friends. Come on, girl. This is TV. Play it like it is. Uh, anyway, we got Tanya asked Yvonne, you were a snitch. <laughs> and Yvonne like, excuse me? She said, well, you, you pretty much was, I want to say, and this is my pawn attendant, you were Nene's bitch. You was her pawn, huh? She used you. So, yeah, you are a snitch, right? And Yvonne said, well, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> I was doing it for a friend. I saw a friend wouldn't ask you to snitch, Yvonne, but, hey, you that bitch from Cork, Atlanta, so you just do what you do, and we just keep moving on. Here we got Yvonne said, and then he told her to record a conversation with the girls. I'm like, girl, 
girl and my little course she don't believe the shit she like what? why would needy want you to do that boo what are you talking about cynthia trying to get out what will record what what all right Seth, you ain't saying nothing you ain't saying nothing then you really want to hear you know when you mad at somebody it's natural to talk about them behind their back but when y'all get back together just say hey honey i doubt you out when we weren't friends tell them what you said and then just keep it moving because i'm pretty sure they said the same thing about you behind closed doors too uh, Andy don't know what to believe, <laughs> but you can rest assured he don't believe Miss Eva. No, he don't. I mean, I Miss Eva, Miss Giovanna. He's like, mm-mm, <laughs> some ain't in that milk clean, baby. No, you want me to drink milk, but it's saying like it's uh, buttermilk you want me to drink. Trying to pass it off as uh, milk. He like, uh-uh. Uh, his whole demeanor was like, <laughs> girl, I don't believe you. And that's why you don't have uh, uh, a seat on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, even as a friend, honey. You don't seal that deal. Don't nobody want to take with you, especially if you sat and told everybody. And Candy had to come back and say, you mean to tell me you let Nene tell you to come spy on us, record us uh, if possible, and to bring it back to her so she could use it as evidence. And you think we want to be right with you? I said, oh, that sounds like Phaedra. When nobody want to be with Phaedra because they felt she was telling and doing un, uh, unreputable things. I'm like, girl. But anyway, you're about to insinuate to Portia. Nene's not your friend. I'm like, you're about to cut, cut your ties, baby. They already don't believe you. We already let you have that pass when you was telling Portia her man is a snake. He <laughs> gave me a good kiki, okay? But, you know, it's not about Dennis anymore. It was about you, and it was about Nene, and uh she's asking you to spy on everybody that's the real issue we're dealing with okay but portia um nini no i'm sorry portia cynthia and candy and marlo starts to grill yovana especially candy candy was like wait a minute yovana and nini uh, y'all both are snakes <laughs> candy was getting indignant over there she was like I i'm sick of both of y'all really and, you know, Anna said, show of hands, who believes Yovana? A lot of people raised their hands was Kenya and uh, Eva. <laughs> Kenya was like, I don't know what to believe because I, I don't believe Yovana. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a tease she was giving me. And none of the other women. I, I think Cynthia raised her hand, but I'm like, Cynthia, really, girl? But, again, it just is what it is. Um... Cynthia said, well, Nene should be here clearing her name and not being absent. So that just tells a lot for me. I'm like, pipe down, Cynthia. You'll be kissing her ass tomorrow. So just pipe down, baby girl. Was it an OG move? Was it right for Nene to leave? Hell no. She should have been up there defending herself and her crown, her throne and whatnot. But, hey, she has fallen off the wagon. We know Nene is not at her best. Not lately anyway. And the day just sealed it for her. Sealed her fate right there. Gonna try to call Portia. Portia, why you letting Nene use you like that? I was like, girl, uh-uh. I like you. I love you as a friend. I love you on the show or whatever. But, uh-uh, you need to come back to your platform. And, you know, I'm not passing messages, okay? Uh, Call Andy. You have him on your lifeline, okay? He's your employer. Call him and tell him why you can't hook yourself back up to that laptop. But, um, like I said, she tried to, then he tried to call through Portia to talk to the group. Then nobody want to hear Nene on no telephone. Why? You think you're going to be looking crazy? Or you, we going to see something in your demeanor by you being on your laptop with the rest of the women? I mean, what? I mean, I agree totally. Me and Kenya really don't agree because we don't get down like that. But I agree with her when she called you a punk ass. She, that was a punk ass move, Nene. That was no G, no queen, no nothing going on. That's just like you a little kid. And you crying wolf, you know, something like, I, like uh, I was totally disgusted with you. So, Kenya was right for calling you a punk ass. Yeah, because you was a punk ass, honey. Um, then we got, um, you want to start to talk Spanish. Because Candace, you know, still not understanding stuff. She's still confused. And Candy won't let her get a word in. She said, but I asked you, I asked you, was there anything going on? You're going to say no up in my face. And I asked you, you know, Candy couldn't get over that concept. <laughs> so, uh, Yvonne started speaking in Spanish on Candy's ass. And Candy was like, I don't care if you speak in Spanish, Portuguese, uh, Italian, whatever. I'm talking 
or Ebonics right now. I'm talking slang where you should be understanding. I'm talking street. How um Tim Marie say I'm talking um dang, what she call that? Uh what is that? Damn what's some uh Square beads. <laughs> Tina Marie says she talking square beads to you, baby. Square, square beads. I'm talking love. That is square beads, square, square beads, square, square beads. Yes, honey. I'm talking square beads. I'm talking square beads to you. Okay. Then she started rapping. So Candy was like, girl, I am talking to you. You should understand where I am coming from. You're the snake. And Nene, both of y'all are snakes. So goodbye. So Candy was too much too fit to be tired with. She didn't want to hear nothing. She nothing else she had to say. So um, Nene calls Porsche, like I said, and tries to get Andy. And Andy looking at her like, uh, uh-uh, uh, Nene need to come back to her laptop, which we provided. We're not talking on no cell phone. No, I don't want the conversation. I don't want the call. Then you know Porsche gonna sit and try to tell Nene what's going on, what's transpired. I'm like, girl, I would have been click. No, Nene, no, we good. Yes, you and I are very good, but we, you're not finna play me like this. We not. Be, I'm not gonna be a pawn until you're not coming back. Cause I don't understand why you wanna talk on the phone, but yet you don't wanna talk on your computer. Okay, I don't understand it. I would have been click, but anyway, that just is how it is. Uh, then we got Cynthia Kenyon, Eva, saying Nene. Uh, it's nowhere to be found. She should be left there in the dark. You know, they all jumping on the bandwagon with each other. Like, let's just move on. We don't need to give her no respect. She ain't giving us no respect. She ain't here. She ain't trying to clear her name. She ain't trying to say that. She ain't trying to defend herself. You know, Kenya just like spearheading all that shit. I'm like, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. You damn doing too much already. You already don't want this one. This this reunion. Because you ain't you weren't winning. Uh, part one and part two. But, you know, you got a chance. I gave you a reprieve. I agreed with you. Nene was a punk ass. Uh, but this last reunion. Uh, part three. And, and Cynthia over there tripping for no apparent reason. I'm like, girl, Nene was here. You didn't say nothing with her. Don't say nothing about her when she ain't here. It just is what it is, Cynthia. But that's it. That's all I have for this reunion. Like I said, it was a shit-ass reunion. They could have did all this last uh, Sunday. Keeping us up here on the Memorial Day uh, holiday with this shit. It's just full of shit, y'all. Just full of shit. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about uh, tonight's episode. And we'll talk about it later on. Because right now, I'm done with it. <laughs> I, I don't put a fork in it. I'm done with it. And I'm glad we are moving on. Glad they went through it. They survived it. And hopefully, they, they living their best life and getting ready for the next taping. But I want to see some heads roll. I don't want to see certain people back up in here. Okay, I need some new breed. And if Nene has to come back as a friend, fine. If Candy has to come back as a friend, fine. Fine with me. Bring Phaedra, Brad. Phaedra. Phaedra. That's who we need on the line, okay? We need to bring Phaedra back. They're trying to say they want to bring Sheree Whitfield back, too, as a friend of the show. So, I guess Nene is going to be around. Hell, we already know Candy is going to be around. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> we don't need Cynthia. Hopefully, she'll go on and, and, and go to better pastures or whatnot. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about, uh, tonight's episode of the final episode reunion for the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 12. And I will see y'all next video. Okay? Good night.